busy we killing the attitude. We busy we killing the attitude. Yeah, yeah, you my bro. We busy we killing the attitude. We busy we killing the attitude. We busy we killing the attitude. Yeah, yeah, you my bro. Wish I could make you come over. You go loco and I just can't do big up the phone. Baby, you know my name. Why do you treat me like this stranger? Baby, you know my words. You should know that I have changed. But I want you to love me. How's Cape Town doing? Yes, sir. Welcome to Boot Camp 2018. This is one amazing opportunity that you guys are going to have. But it's just really, really amazing to have all of you guys here. So welcome. South Africa comes from a place where a large part of the population was excluded from participating in advertising. That's why the boot camp is so important because we give those people an opportunity to actually feel and understand and work um, you know, on some of the biggest clients that this country has. When you live in one household or you're around a certain type of person, you kind of think that that's the only way of living or that's the only way of thinking. So when you actually come to these kind of boot camps, you actually learn way more about someone else's background and their diversity. So I think that's why I'm really enjoying this boot camp. I'm learning so much more about the next person. Um, I'll definitely say my favorite things about South African culture is the integration and the diversity. Um, all of us are all in the same bowl and there's about 11 different languages and out of the 11 I can speak like five. Um, so this is our fourth year of the One Club Bootcamp. And what's truly incredible is just how much this initiative has grown. So we have close to 75 students here. Um, the energy in Cape Town is wonderful. The students are so eager, so ready, so prepared. Um, there's a lot of great talent that comes here. Um, and it's great to be able to give them an opportunity to work with mentors from places like Woolworths, uh, Ogilvy, King James, um, places that they may not have access to otherwise. I travel 8,000 miles from Brooklyn, New York to be here. It's connecting with another person, you know. We are all reflections of each other, yet we come from different places. Now there's all types of diversity, but the only one that hasn't gotten fixed yet is the racial diversity. Not that all of them are fixed, but there's increasingly more women in the business. There's increasingly more um, folks from the LBGTQ in the business and all that is awesome but the ones who have not gained are the black and brown folks being colored has been an experience um, what we find is you either too colored for white kids or too white for black kids i think often enough as a woman, your, your voice isn't always heard. Um, and then on top of it being a Muslim woman, I think my voice is always a bit, it's not like push it down, but it's almost like not as much value as the next person. I think I've always had some kind of creativity in me and I knew I wanted to go in the direction that was, I can express my creativity. For me, the first advice will be to keep the creativity alive. And what is the meaning is just not to be scared because when you work in the real world and the real, in the agency, etc., sometimes you have the reality coming back all the time. But they are students and they have the opportunity to be free and to push the, the boundary. And it's just a microcosm of exactly what uh, the students will uh, endure when they get into the real world. Know that this is just a taste of what it is and you have other programs that you put yourself in and just sharpen your skills and now you have 
you know, been connected and exposed to some amazing creatives. And we want you to continue to, you know, hone your craft, build your craft. We tend to not only take these 75 students, but we break them into teams of five or six, depending on how many we have. I think this year, matter of fact, this year we have 13 teams, and um, they actually work on a real brief, and Woolworths has given them a real brief that they need to implement into the world. We need young, fresh kids in our industry. You are the future of our industry. You really need to Go out there, spread the word, get more kids into the, into the creative industries. We need to learn from you. In as much as we're trying to teach you, we can learn from you guys. So please, don't give up. Come into the industry, no matter where you fall, it's a fantastic industry to be in. As a black South African, my story is very different to her story. So it's about understanding the intersectionality of everything and being able to produce what you stand for. And I think that's one of the biggest parts of like being a brand. Yeah. It's having something to stand for and pushing it. If more people had access to creativity, we could write the ratio. Write the ratio of gender, write the ratio of race, access, and most importantly, write the ratio of thinking. <laughs>